And, and Tamara, really interesting, because this, of course, comes quite shortly after she was cleared to take up the role uh, uh, by the appointments watchdog uh, uh, as Sakir Starmer's new chief of staff. D does this decision alter that at all? What, what are the implications? Uh, no, it doesn't. There were two separate processes going on. Essentially, um, Keir Starmer uh, was given the green light to have Sue Gray, the um, former senior civil servant investigator of Partygate, as his chief of staff starting from September. And that was by ACOBA, which is the body that vets appointments of former ministers and senior civil servants. They uh, said that she had to wait this six-month period, but the risks were relatively small. So that all goes ahead, and Keir Starmer welcomed it. Um, but there had been a push in government for it to be investigated as a breach of the civil service code, essentially her discussions with him because she told this uh, investigation that they had started speaking back in October 2022 and a formal job offer was made in March of this year and those conversations were not declared. So this was investigated um, by, by as, and found, according to this statement we've just heard from the government, to be a breach Reach of the code. So if she was still a civil servant, there might be sanctions or indeed a suspension, but now she has left. It doesn't look like there will be anything. Um, now, um, government sources tell me the crucial thing about all this is that this investigation was done by officials, not by ministers. They're saying it's not a p political thing. So if Keir Starmer attacks it, um, then he's attacking independent civil servants and government lawyers. But certainly it will be a useful thing for the government to throw at Keir Starmer, suggesting that he has has broken the rules uh, when it's usually uh, Keir Starmer levelling that accusation at the government. So no implications really for Sue Gray starting her work. That is expected to begin in September. But um, the government's saying that rules were broken in the process.